Welcome to Japan's northernmost city here in Hokkaido, Asaikawa. I've stopped here on my cross-country hitchhiking trip for one reason in particular, ramen. And Asaikawa's ramen is very famous, but I'm not sure what makes this place different from Sapporo ramen or any of the other ramens around Japan. Fukuoka's Hakata ramen is famous for tonkotsu, a thick pork bone broth. Very filling and very good. Sapporo ramen nearby is known for miso ramen, slightly nutty and sweet, thick but not too heavy. The miso is added to different soup stocks depending on the store. Sapporo ramen typically uses yellow egg noodles. And Asahikawa ramen? Welcome to the world of shoyu or soy sauce ramen. Like the others, it's found everywhere in Japan, but many argue Asahikawa does it best. So where exactly is this shoyu ramen paradise? We'll have to head to Hokkaido in Japan's north, to the city of Asahikawa. It's a three-hour drive from Sapporo, next to Daisetsukan National Park, meaning the city has some of the cleanest water in the country. Asahikawa is easy to navigate with a perfect grid system. We'll visit Baikoken, Aoba, and Tenkin, so get ready for some slurping. A lot of the famous ramen shops in Asahikawa are right around the station area. Our first ramen shop is along the shopping street. So I got a map at the tourist office that lists all of the ramen places in Asaikawa that are around the station. And this one right here is also the one that I went to 14 years ago, last time I was in Asaikawa. So let's try that first. Yeah, I've been here before, so I know what I'm getting into. Welcome to Baikoken Ramen's main shop. At lunch, be ready to queue up. It's famous. The kitchen is busy with non-stop chefs at peak times serving mighty bowls of shoyu ramen. I was last here in 2003 during my first hitchhiking trip across Japan. Now I'm back for my second bowl, and I'm sure the taste hasn't changed a bit. Baikoken is the classic bowl of shoyu ramen. There are no hidden bells and whistles with this bowl. Unless, of course, you order a topping like ajitama, that delicious half-boiled egg that I can never pass up. You can see that the shoyu ramen is lighter than tonkotsu and miso, just the right amount of oil to load up that richness. Baikoken uses wavy noodles that collects more of the salty soy sauce broth. It hasn't changed in 14 years. Good old faithful, complete. I moved on to Alba, which was just a minute away from Baikoken. It came highly recommended to me by a friend. The owner let me eat during his break to avoid the lines. They've all the kinds of ramen on the menu, but come on, we've come here for shoyu ramen exclusively. Alba uses straight noodles, a healthy piece of chashu pork steak, the winking octopus on the nori seaweed is a nice touch. This shoyu soup is perfectly balanced. The atmosphere at Alba is authentic. That family feel of it all adds to the flavor which is simple, chicken and pork based stock with soy sauce, light, salty, and oh so good. By far one of the friendliest places I've ever visited with a long history. The Murayama family has run Alba for three generations. Here's the founder, his son, the second generation chef, and now his son, Yuichi, who was behind the counter today. Uh,私は中国に小学校五年まで降りました。北京中央とこにね。そして終戦になって日本に帰ってきて、うちの先代、うちのグランドファーザーまだ一緒に中国から日本に帰ってきて、え、二十二年、昭和二十二年から始めた
So not far away from Aoba is uh, Tenkin, another really famous place in Asaikawa. I can eat one more. Tenkin is a five minute walk from Aoba, and this shop was consistently at the top of ramen critics and reviewers lists, which explains this line. It took an hour to get in. The waiting just makes you hungrier. Many celebrities have been here. Tenkin's ramen is no longer a secret. I got their shoyu ramen with a side of gyoza. Right away, I could see the attraction, the soup. It had a lot of oil. The temperature of a saikao in winter is well below zero, so it's said the extra lard keeps the soup hot for a longer time. It's like insulation. There's a lot of other good stuff in there too. And the taste? Divine. But I couldn't get over that broth. It reminded me of Van Gogh's masterpiece, The Starry Night. A galaxy of flavors swirling on the canvas. Or bowl, if you're at Tenkin. So there you have it. Asahikawa is soy sauce ramen paradise, where you'll get an amazing bowl just about anywhere you go. So try them all. These three shops are excellent starting points to the big and delicious world that is Asahikawa Shoyu Ramen. Next time, Tokyo, or a side of it that you've never seen before. This is Aogashima, an island that reminds me of Jurassic Park, minus the velociraptors, of course. The adventure starts with a helicopter ride before descending into the jungle around a volcano.